Greetings from IITM student community. Those who are interested in joining our qualifier coaching may contact the given WhatsApp number to enroll. We will cover full syllabus along with mock tests and graded assignment detailed explanation. With 24 7 hours doubt clearance support. Hello everyone, welcome to IIT Madras student community. Today we are going to discuss about uh, the solution for graded assignment 1 in introduction to C programming. So when we start with the questions, uh, the first question is uh, you are told that a computer has 4 GB of RAM as main memory. How many bits of storage does the computer have in its memory? So basically we need to know some basic terminology for this question. Actually it is not required but it is good to know this. Uh, so, so basically a bit is nothing but either a 0 or 1 the storage of either 0 or 1 so a byte consists of 8 bits and a kilobyte kb is equal to 1024 bytes and an mb is equal to 1024 kilobyte and one zb is equal to 1024 mb and so on uh, it continues till terabyte petabyte so on so here this much basic knowledge is enough so now when we come for this question it is given that 4 gb of ram so 4 gb is equal to uh, in terms of memory it is equal to 1 4 into 1024 mb that is equal to that is equal to that is equal to four zero nine six into one zero two four kb and that is equal to some let us uh, assume it as four let's uh, approximate it four into ten to the power of six kb into one zero two four byte so that is equal to 4 into 10 to the power of uh, 9 byte that is equal to 4 into 10 to the power of 9 into 8 bits as they asked in the bits the answer is going to be 32 into 10 to the power of 9 bits that is going to be 32 billion bits the option c is the answer so moving on to the next question instead of binary values 0 and 1 suppose as a computer stores four different values in a single memory location for each so for example each location would have 0 1 2 or 3 instead of only 1 or 0 if you had thousand such locations uh, how much is the equivalent memory size in bits so basically what is a bit uh, bit is an uh, it was an memory storage location which can store two values either 0 or 1 here they have decided, defined as it can store something like 0 1 2 or 3 so basically they have done nothing so they have just changed the definition for a bit so they said that there are thousand such locations each location is a bit so either if they change uh, the memory of each location it doesn't matter in the size of the memory the size of the memory is constant as 1000 bits the following can be valid values for the word length inside a cpu so basically this was a theoretical question the answer is going to be 8 bits there's no perfect explanation for this it was decided like this and even uh, for more information uh, multiples of 8 like 16 bit uh, 24 bit and 32 bits are also valid values of for the word length used inside a cpu so moving on to the next question hope you are all good with this question first of the following statements uh, okay so here they have given four statements for us statement one statement two statement three statement four and they are asking to arrange the steps in the correct order to execute uh, a program so basically uh, as the professor explained us uh, the process of computation first what we have to do we have to define the inputs and outputs of the problem this is the first thing because without giving the input uh, 
uh, there's nothing the computer cannot do nothing and we have to define where where to store the output so this is the first step we have to follow and the second step we have to follow is break the computation into primitive computer primitive this is this is most important because uh, computer cannot la understand our language it, it must be com converted into its own language and the third step we have we will follow is so sorry uh, the second step is going to be this one this is going to be the second step because uh, before this computation must occur we have to map the inputs uh, to the memory model so that they can be loaded as and when they may, when they are needed this is an um, important step and the fourth step uh, and the third step is we have to break the computation into computer primitives and the fourth step is we have to store the output so the sequence is uh, one three two four option three is going to be the answer one second Option 3 is going to be the answer. So, hope you are all good with this question. Going to the uh, sixth question. Suppose you need to copy the value of memory location data 1 to data 2, identify the appropriate sequence of uh, steps to take this. So, basically, this was also a theoretical question. Okay. And the requirement in this question asked by asked was there was a data 1 and data 2, and we need to transfer this data 1. To data two. First, we need uh, copy the value of memory location. Okay. So now, first, first of all, the first step we have to do is yeah. First of all, we have to define where the, where the data is located. So basically, the first step would be we have to as we want to move the data one to data two, we have to define the location of data one. So this is going to be basically be the first step. And the second step is uh, the uh, CPU sends loads the value from memory 1 location data to the register this is the second step because to process with the data we have to load it into register and the third step is uh, CPU sends uh, yeah this is the third step because um, because um, the what is the work uh, to be done here is uh, to save it into data too so the, from the register the data directly grow uh, so it would be sent into the memory and then the location data also will be sent into the memory where to store that data store and now okay the cpu sends the address of uh, data to the memory this is the fourth one and now finally what it will do memory sends the value of memory location data to cpu and the memory stores it in this is the final step so on checking the option option 3 is going to be correct Hope you are all good with this question. Moving on to the next question. Okay, this is based on some general mathematical calculation. So the requirement here is we need to write write an algorithm. Algorithm. Uh, algorithm is nothing but steps to solve this problem. So basically, here we have to define the steps to like uh, to load this formula into the CPU. So here uh, the first step is t1 is equal to 22 by 7 and the second step is 2 into t1 so here till the second step they have like they have defined the value till here and the fourth step is r plus h they have defined this value and the fifth step is t5 is equal to t3 into t4 so basically when we look at all these steps we will come to notice that they have neglected this r so that must be in the third step so here let's define it as t3 okay let's write write it behind so the third step is going to be t3 is equals to t2 into r so if this is going to be the step then all the algorithm will become meaningful so the answer is option b hope you are good with this question moving on to the eighth question so it was also the same kind of question like the before one Okay. Um, consider a memory model where R and H are located at memory locations M and M2 respectively. The result A has to be stored at memory location M3. Consider the following steps to compute the value of A. 
okay so m4 is equals to 22 by 7 and given that m5 so it was also the same kind of question it is given that m4 is equals to 22 by 7 and m5 is equals to 2 into 22 by 7 and the third step is m6 is equals to m1 is r as it is given here and m2 is h as it is mentioned in the question so m6 is equals to r plus h and m7 is equals to m1 into m6 that's nothing but m1 r into r plus h so as it is given the result a that is area uh, this result a the thing we would like to get from this form this formula is going to be stored in m3 so let's define m3 is equal to here we can check we can understand that the missing terms here is 2 into 22 by 7 so let's write it as m5 into m7 so the answer is going to be option 4 so hope you are with the, good with this question moving on to the next question consider the following sequence of arithmetic steps uh, for computation using temporary storage t1 and t2 so basically this was a, another kind of logical question so now let's let's move on with the steps mm, okay now let's write that t1 t2 in the and this is going to be the first step in the first step first part the value of t1 is 2 and the t2 is uh, 1 from the step 1 step 2 and step 3 the value of t1 is going to be what 4 and from the step 4 it is going to be uh, 2 because 1 plus 1 2 so now fifth step when you come it comes it tells that if t2 is less than or equal to k that it let, let's assume that k is something way much bigger than 2 and now what it says go to step 3 back to here so again again you add t1 plus uh, t1 you get it as 8 and 16 and so on here it will be 3 4 something 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 yeah so now what is the requirement they are saying that wa what is the value of k if the final value of t1 is 4096 so here what we we must understand is this cycle this is 3 4 uh, 5 again 3 4 5 will keep on going until the t2 reaches this value k so the requirement is we have to keep this cycle going until the t1 uh, reaches the value of 4096 so now we have to find what is the value of t2 when the value of t1 is 4096 so basically in the step number 1 the t1 is getting to be like it is a 2 square or 2 into 2 and in a September 2 it has become 2 into 2 into 2 so basically we can define as for example t1 in the nth step we can define as 2 power 1 plus n <coughs> so for 4096 we know that it is uh, so 4096 is going to be 2 power 12 that implies we need t1 in the 11th cycle so that implies that we need to find the value of t2 in the 11th cycle so okay uh, basically in the first step itself the t2 went up to 2 that implies t2 in nth step is equal to 1 plus n that's it so substituting this uh, n is equal to 11 we get t2 is equal to 12 but we have to notice that if the t2 is 12 it is not going to stop there but at this point itself we are going to get 4096 but it is going to again move to the step 3 so to avoid that we need the value we need to find uh, assign the value of t2 as 11 that implies k is equal to 11 
hope you are uh, understand this uh, process if not uh, please uh, feel free to watch this video once again by moving forward thanks for watching join the channel the 119 plan only by clicking the join button after subscribing to the channel to see the remaining part of our graded assignment videos please note iitm student community has launched iitm bs in es qualifier coaching at just 799 rupees see you in the next video bye